And when did you last see your father? A simple question, but in this painting of the same name by William Frederick Eames, it's presented as a complicated moral dilemma. Painted in 1878, it depicts a scene set during the English Civil War, 1642 to 1646. For those who need a refresher on the Civil War, the Roundheads, Parliamentarians, and Cavaliers, Royalists, were fighting against each other to gain control of the country. The Parliamentarians were unhappy with the way King Charles I was running the country. The Royalists were loyal to the King, but it was all in vain as the Parliamentarians executed the King and assumed leadership of the country. OK, back to the painting. This kind of narrative painting was very popular during the Victorian era. Viewers would spend time discussing what they thought the story was about and how they would deal with the dilemma presented. The name of the painting, and when did you last see your father, is a clue to understanding what is happening in the artwork. Let's take a closer look to see what ethical quandary is being presented. The painting is arranged like a scene in a play. The little boy is centre stage and his clothes shine brightly, almost as if there's a spotlight shining down on him. He's the lead character in this complex story and the rest of the characters stand around facing him. He's being interrogated by the man opposite him, a parliamentarian, about the whereabouts of his royalist father. His family stands behind him with fear on their faces as they wait for the boy's answer. The tension here is dependent on whether or not he should tell on his father and save his family, or lie and risk the safety of his mother and sisters. In Victorian times, children were seen as symbols of truth and honesty, making this scene even more complex. Viewers would also have delved into the details of the painting, trying to understand the tone and imagine what each character was feeling. Yeems deliberately presented both sides equally. The man doing the interrogating is leaning forward with a warm expression on his face so as not to scare the boy and the soldier standing with his younger sister has his arm around her, almost comforting her. However, the roundheads all hold weapons, suggesting a threat, and in the background we can see one of them holding the family's things, suggesting they are taking away their possessions or searching through them for evidence. Yeems was inspired to create this painting by his young nephew, who was staying with him at the time. Apparently, his naive and candid nature intrigued Yeems and led him to wonder what a child would do in such a high-pressure situation. The painting was bought from the artist by the Walker Art Gallery the year it was made, and only a year after the gallery had opened to the public. It was a hit with visitors and critics, and to this day is one of the most popular works in the gallery. It has also been referenced frequently in popular culture. It was recreated in wax in Madame Tussauds, and continues to be referenced in satirical cartoons about British and American politics. So, what's the answer to the critical question? How do you think the boy answered? And does it actually matter? Perhaps the painting suggests that sometimes in life, there is no right answer.